If you have a latency sensitive production application running on OCI and you also want to inspect every packet passing through your application without compromising performance, then you are in the right video. Hello everyone, in this demo we will set up tunnel inspection using OCI network firewall. We often use an inline firewall setup where the firewall sits directly in the traffic path between client and the server. In this design, every packet must pass through the firewall for intrusion detection and prevention. However, this approach has few challenges. It creates a single point of failure. For example, if there is only one firewall and it goes down, the traffic stops. It adds latency because of the extra hop and every packet is inspected. Scaling can be difficult in high throughput environment. With these challenges in mind, if an application is latency sensitive, we cannot use an inline firewall setup. Instead, we need an out of band setup. In an out of band setup, the firewall is placed outside the direct traffic path. It usually receives mirror traffic for analysis and monitoring. This is often used in intrusion detection and other security monitoring solutions. The benefits of this setup include if the firewall goes down, there is no impact on the traffic flow, so business continues. It is easier to deploy for monitoring only scenarios. It is useful for traffic analysis, logging, threat detection and compliance. The OCI network firewall tunnel inspection rules are specifically designed to analyze traffic within VXLAN encapsulated clear text tunnels. We can integrate tunnel inspection with the OCI native virtual test access point service. This combination allows for comprehensive traffic analysis through a dedicated out of band channel. Now let's look at how we can set this up on OCI. The traffic flows through the following setup. The client sends malicious HTTP traffic to a web server. The VTAP mirrors the malicious traffic flows from the VTAP source. The explicit routing on the load balancer subnet is configured to steer VTAP source traffic to the VTAP target network load balancer, which sends it to the OCI network firewall for intrusion detection. As packets traverse the OCI network firewall, they are evaluated against the firewall policy. All VXLAN tunnel traffic that contains HTTP in the inner packet is inspected. All traffic flows and any detected threats are logged by OCI network firewall into OCI logging, enabling administrators to track and respond to potential security breaches effectively. The traffic then arrives at the VTAP target, that is network load balancer, and is forwarded to the backend, which is, in this example, is TCP dump. You can use Wireshark or any third-party tool for deep packet analysis of threats detected and logged by the OCI network firewall. We can also send log information to the logging service specifying a particular log group. Additionally, these flow logs can be ingested into SIM tools such as QRadar, Splunk or Azure Sentinel using OCI streaming and service connector hub. Next, we will go to the OCI console to see the setup and then we will proceed with the test. This is the configuration for the VTAP. The VTAP source is the public load balancer, which has a web server as its backend, serving HTTP traffic. The VTAP target is the network load balancer. Behind the network load balancer, we can host any network analytics tool of your choice. For this demo, we will use a Linux compute instance as the backend and run TCP dump to analyze the traffic. When the VTAP is configured, the traffic captured at the VTAP source is encapsulated in VXLAN and then sent to the VTAP target that is network load balancer over UDP port 4789. So make sure this port and protocol are allowed at all checkpoints such as security list or network security group. The VXLAN network identifier is set to 127 to uniquely identify the VXLAN traffic. Now let's look at the OCI network firewall policy. Under security rules, we have two rules. The first rule allows VXLAN traffic and the second rule allows all traffic. For both rules, we have enabled intrusion detection under the rule action. We created separate rules to clearly identify matches for each traffic flow.
Next is the tunnel inspection rules. Under tunnel inspection rules, we have allowed all traffic and under rule action, we enabled inspect and capture logs. Additionally, all three log categories, traffic, threat and tunnel inspection are enabled on OCI network firewall. We have also set explicit routing on the load balancer subnet to steer VTAP source traffic to the VTAP target which then sends to the OCI network firewall for intrusion detection. Now we have logged into the VTAP target compute instance. Let's start a TCP dump on port 4789 and try accessing the web server. We can see the VNI 127 and we can also notice VXLAN traffic on port 4789. We have added a script on the web server to generate threat logs. Now let's switch to OCI logging to verify the logs. These are the traffic logs showing HTTP traffic match the allow all rule. These are the threat logs. They also match the allow all rule and identified a threat under category spyware. And finally the tunnel inspection logs. We can see they matched VXLAN rule and identified VXLAN traffic on UDP port 4789. This concludes our demo. Thank you for watching.